Hey everybody, it's I Want to Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Passbolt, a self hosted password vault, in Docker. To get started, launch a terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then we'll use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages. We'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. followed by another apt install to install docker, docker compose, and container d. With the docker packages installed, we'll add the current user to the docker group and re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. We're now ready to create our containers. We'll start by creating working directories for the containers to store persistent data in. Then we'll set ownership of our working directory structure. Then using the docker run command, we'll create a MariaDB database backend container. followed by a second docker run command to create the passbolt container. Next, we'll use the docker exec command to create an admin user account within the passbolt container. Open a web browser and type the DNS or IP address of the docker host colon 8081 forward slash. Then copy the link that was output from the docker exec command and paste it at the end of the web address. Click the download extension button then step through the process to install the Passbolt extension for your browser. Once completed, go back to the Passbolt tab and click the Refresh to Detect extension link. At the welcome screen, enter a passphrase to use for your password vault. Save the password recovery kit in a safe location, then click Next. Enter a three-digit security token and select a color, then click Next. Welcome to Passbolt running containerized in Docker. You can now use Passbolt to securely store and recall your passwords when browsing the web. 